And now, what's next? So let's create another node that subscribes to the topic that we have just created, that is published from the publisher node. So let's create another CPP file and name it subscriber underscore CPP. First of all, include the ROS library. Then we are going to write the main section passing the arguments. As we have done before, we need to initialize the node. So type ROS init, the argument and the name of the node. Let's call it subscriber. Then create a node handle object. Now we have to create a subscriber object. So type ROS subscriber. We are going to name this object sub. This object is equal to n dot subscribe. As you can see, the structure is similar compared to the publisher. In C++, for creating a publisher, you have to type n.advertise. And if you want to subscribe, you have to type n.subscribe. Then you have to tell to the subscribe function what is the topic you want to subscribe to and type it in the quotation mark message underscore topic taken from the publisher. Then you need to set the buffer. Then the name of a callback function. This is very important because when you create a subscriber, you always need to have a callback function that takes as an input the data from the topic that is subscribing and do something in the callback function. We are going to write this callback function in a while, but before let's finish the main section. Then we need to call the spin function. This function allows to do iteration of the main section until you kill the node. So it's like that you have an infinite while loop of the main function. So to make sure that this node is always listening if someone is publishing on the topic message topic. Then return zero. Now that we have finished the main section, let's write the callback function 
and we are going to do it before the main function. Type void callback and then pass it const the type of the message that you are getting Make sure that the type has to be the same of the message type that you want to subscribe to. In this case, we are taking this string and put it into a message that has to be displayed on the terminal. So let's type was info. This is the message I heard. and then pass it to message and convert to a string. Save it and close it. Now go to CMake list and add the true line of code that allows CMake to build the executable file for the subscriber node. Let's name it subscriber underscore cpp underscore executable. Update the target link libraries Save and close it Go to Katkin workspace folder and build the package You can see that uh, the executable has been created. And now let's try everything. Open a terminal, start the ROS master, and run in another terminal the publisher node.
Then open a new terminal and run the subscriber node. And here you go. The subscriber node is subscribing correctly to the message topic that the publisher node is publishing. The subscriber is taking this message and do everything is in the callback function. And in our case, we have told to display on the terminal this string that allows us to visualize what the subscriber node is getting from the publisher node. If you want to visualize better the publisher subscriber architecture, you can open another terminal and run the ROS graph. And here we go. This graph represents what is going on between nodes and topics. As you can see, in this basic example, we have a node named Publisher that is publishing something on the topic Message Topic. This topic is of type Standard Message String. Then we have another node called Subscriber that is subscribing to the topic Message Topic. Congratulations! You have created a node that contains a publisher, another node that contains a subscriber, and you made them communicate with each other through a topic. This is a very used way of communication between nodes in ROS. So it is a good achievement for you. If you think that you got value from this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell in order to do not miss the further topic. In the next video, we're gonna deal with publisher and subscriber in Python. So let's see in the next video.